How's it going everyone, Sephir here, and welcome back to another Tower of Fantasy video. Today is going to be day 41 in the Ultimate Guide series, and I am here to warn you of a huge mistake. Please do not make this mistake, so we're going to jump right into it. The Battle Pass is resetting in one day. So it will be resetting very, very, very soon. Let's go ahead and check that out. Now we'll head to the reward sections and the pass area, and we will see that it will reset in one day and five hours. And since the week has reset, any battle pass merit points that you claim right now will be going towards this already capped battle pass. So if you are capped already, and I know a lot of us are, do not claim your merit points. What am I talking about? This up here for the weekly activity in the top section. You will get merit points for doing things in the world. Since everything has reset, you're going to have the ability to start earning towards these. Do not claim them until the battle pat pass rolls over i repeat do not claim okay with that out of the way that's the big warning you have been warned so make sure you save that and that will be really good for you because you're going to instantly gain massive battle pass levels as soon as the new battle pass hits and that's going to push you ahead of people who accidentally wasted this one with that out of the way, I'm going to talk about some information on some new boss monster respawns in the artificial island. If we head to the news area, we will see a notice from the official Tower of Fantasy dev team, and they are talking about the description issue for the island boss respawn uh, time being fixed. It's going to be fixed sometime today. They don't state anything specifically. They just say before the end of the day. Uh, so it's going to come at some point, and there's also some translation errors that will be adjusted, and in addition, addition to that you will be gaining 200 dark crystals for the inconvenience so not too bad we will take it for sure and then we will move on to the next thing which will be the Ida Cafe event I just want to remind you that is currently going on and it is important to gain all of these uh, event point currencies because you're going to get a lot of really invaluable items including 10 SSR relic shards from some of these packs and a lot of things you don't want to miss out on uh, so keep in mind that that refreshes every day at one and I wanted to issue a new warning for this you can get the full created menu item from the world bosses in Asperia. So if you go around the map and you kill like Robarg or Apothis or whatever, they will drop you ingredients for these limited item food events, but they will also drop you the whole food item at, like all together and the recipe. So if you want to collect the recipes for it, maybe you didn't figure out all the recipes, you could definitely earn them like that. So grab your friends and uh, if you don't have any friends, that's okay. Go ahead and stop by the stream on Solar Laris today on Twitch at 5.30 p.m. EST, and we will hook you up. We got all kinds of people doing world boss stuff, so come with us. Come kill these world bosses, get your recipes, and it will all be good. Next, after that, I wanted to talk about runes. Runes have a... We've been saving them for a little bit, but at this point, I don't see the experience increasing. We thought there would be a in massive increase in experience at level 65. There was not. It stayed relatively low, and we still have three days to complete each of these level gaps. So with that being said, I think it's okay to just go ahead and use your runes, because at this point, we're going to hit level 70, and then we're going to enter Vera, and you're going to have all kinds of experience and random things to do. So go ahead and get that gold dust, clear out your runes, and make sure you're obtained and caught up to that point because it will be nice for different things like relic shards as well as the dust. Uh, there's quite a lot in there. I got a bunch of materials myself personally, so go ahead and double check those and make sure you got all that covered. Once you have that covered, I wanted to announce that there is a new sequential phantasm this week. It has shifted and rolled over, and for NA, it is going to be the Spirit for Lightning Fighting Spirit, the Barrage Awareness Adhesive, again, the physical one, but it looks like it might be a different element this time, and then the Guard Defender. These are definitely some interesting uh, mix-ups to the sequential phantasm, and these are worth quite a lot of points, so you're going to want to make sure to do them as well as earning the weekly track, which is containing a lot lot of very high target and value materials so make sure to get on top of that and in addition to that we also have the bygone phantasm so the bygone phantasm will be 
reset now the reward should have been calculated and uh, i got a pretty easy bracket this week i mean i'm gonna beat this number three player no problem this number two player no problem uh it, maybe it's a little tough for me maybe it's a little tough is that is that kawasa i see hmm hmm okay all right i'm gonna have to put on my try hard pants this week and see if we can uh take that number one spot that'll definitely be really fun to do so with the bygone phantasm uh, completed there. Let's go ahead and talk about another in-game activity that has been reset. The wormhole is going to reset, or has been reset now, but just keep in mind that this week is going to be hard. If you check out Ursa Major, you're going to need to clear the endless mode, but right now we have the flame buff, frost immunity, and all damage buff, and then all damage buff and armor. But the worst part is our runes are really bad. And this is for NA. It might be different for EU and for C and for other regions. But for us, we don't have much option. We got maybe Shadow Burst and a little bit of attack power. There's just really nothing here. So this is actually going to be a pretty hard struggle bus week for the wormhole. So make sure you're getting on that early rather than later before you run out of time last minute. And you're like, oh, no, wait, this is really, really hard. And. I can't get it completed in time. So make sure you don't enter that scenario. Uh, so just be aware that the wormhole is very challenging this week. Speaking of in-game activities, let's talk about the Frontier Clash next. The Frontier Clash is not hard. It's actually very easy. We have enemy flame resist 65% and flame weapon charge reduction rate reduced. So that's not a big problem. I mean, there's not very many flame weapons in the game currently, and there are tons of other DPS options. So this should be an easy, smooth sailing week for Frontier Clash. And that is definitely good news to hear. I was very scared and worried that it was going to be Volt damage damage or frost immunity and that would definitely shut a lot of people down but luckily that's not the case this time then we have the raids that we need to talk about the raids have been refreshed so you should have one extra charge of the mid-level control room to fight the scarlet apothis and he will give you 1200 gold dust which is a whole legendary item of your choice from the shop which is absolutely phenomenal reward in addition to this i did want to put out a small warning that the Phantasmic Zenith Raid will be available at level 66, which will be on Wednesday. So coming quicker than you think it is. So that will be very awesome to see. I'm super excited to see what is coming forth in the new raid, and I'm definitely going to be tuning in for that one. I've heard it's very difficult. We have to fight Frigg and Valkyrie at the same time and kill them within a small window of each other, or else you lose. <laughs> so this will definitely be very fun to see. And in addition to that, this is where we start to see stage buffs in the raid encounters. So things like Volt will do extra damage, Physical is going to do extra damage, so you're going to have to find the right element when you enter these things. It also has a combat rating required of 42,000, which is quite high, so definitely be creeping up there with all those upgrades, guys. Now that we have the raids covered, let's talk about the Commissary Shop. The Commissary Shop has reset for the week, and in the general Crystal Dust section, you should have more Advancement Modules and Booster Modules. Make sure to buy all those so that you can upgrade your gear. It will be very important. Then we have the Cruise Store, which has reset with different SSR Relic Shards as well as SR Relic Shards. And we have Hologram Projector and Space Time Rift Shard. Both of these are massive in-game SSR Relics, and either of them would be a great pickup or buy. I'm definitely still holding out for the Omnium Shield, but these are very juicy and tempting. And I can totally see a couple people investing on Space Time or Hologram. With the crew store covered, let's talk about the support store. We do have the reset of the joint supply chips, as well as the black nucleus, so make sure to pick those up at the very least. And that's going to cover it for the commissary section. Once we have that covered, let's talk about the crew. The crew should have new missions, but just be sure to claim your reward. At the end of the week, from the treasury section here, I rolled mine and I got gold this week. I am so mad. I am so mad. You have no idea. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys got. This is my first time getting gold. It feels really bad. 5,000 gold instead of dark crystals. Ugh. 
very painful. Uh, speaking of painful, let's also talk about Claire's Dream Machines. I don't know what you guys got this week. Mine was mixed results. I had three advancement modules, Claire's Dream Machines, one relic, and then a bunch of like equipment boxes for blue and green gear. I have no idea what that was about, uh, but that was what I got. It was like a 50-50, like half the stuff I got was good, half the stuff I got was bad. Um, I think that's the highest amount of modules I've ever seen for advancement modules. Has anybody had more than that? Let me know down below. Have you had more than three in a given week for Claire's Dream Machine? I wonder if there's somebody out there that's like super lucky and rolled all seven, but using those would definitely let you get ahead very massively because I can almost upgrade my gloves again from that, which is pretty crazy. So I'm going to be pushing past the level 30 barrier. So that's really interesting to see the RNG range coming out from Claire's Dream Machine there. Alright, that's going to be it for this one. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you feel that I've earned that subscription. And make sure to check out our Twitch stream tonight at 5.30pm EST. We will be doing some carries as well as code giveaways. Thank you for sticking to the end, so I'm going to tell you about this. I am doing massive code giveaways. This will be for in-game loot and Tower of Fantasy on my Twitch stream, so make sure to stop by. Appreciate everybody watching to the end, and we will see you in the next one.